guess that is the hardest time or hardest thing is like spending time in your van. You yeah. know, like you got to have a really comfortable van to like <laughs> right. want to just chill yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was kind of difficult. Tell me about your vans. I want to hear you have a Dodge Ram cat. That's right. I do. I have a, I have a, it looks like a Scooby-Doo van. It's so uh-huh. sketchy. Um, uh, yeah, I have a van. I, I got it uh, three years ago when I came back from New Zealand. I was living over there for about five months and I was living in a Subaru Impreza that I had bought. Um, and so coming back and buying the van was just the lap of luxury right. <laughs> big upgrade just amazing yeah <laughs> to not have to sleep in the back seat to actually be able to sleep diagonal and fit pretty okay was was amazing um yeah but the van is it smelled i i call it the litter box mm. um because it, it's attractive it, it smelled like a litter box <laughs> when i got it it was super moldy and leaky um and it's still that but i took the rug out so it doesn't smell as bad but what kind of van do you have i had um it was a a plymouth uh whatever it is i don't i can't remember the name of the the plymouth minivan yeah you know this gray it was like a 93 plymouth i the name of the van is i can see it yeah you can see it's got the one sliding door it's the one on the cover of uh El Camino yep. for the Black Keys. Oh, yeah, nice. okay, yeah, it was yeah, one of those, sick. just a gray one. So, yeah. and I moved into that from uh, an Impreza. Did you? It was really? a hatchback one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you had a hatch. I did not have a hatchback. Oh man, that's yeah, that's oh, pretty that's rough. rough. I know. Yeah. That's super rough. I could like I could stretch out and my feet would you know just kind of stick into the dash a little bit. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> but just... yeah, but yeah, it was luxurious for me. Oh kind yeah. of. Well, I mean, as much as it can be as much as a van can be. yeah yeah so nate would you say that you're between vans right now i know you're often longing <laughs> um, to uh, get am, back into one yeah i'm longing dude i'm in a house and it's <laughs> too damn big i got too yeah. much room i just can't wait to be squashed into a van again isn't it so funny because you talk about the challenges and how people rom- romanticize it and how nobody can you know it's true nobody right. can live in a van full time but then you get into a house and you're like yeah, you miss oh it. Oh my gosh, like everything's so convenient, like indoor plumbing. Like mm-hmm. I remember I moved into a house or anytime I'm in a house, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can hear the refrigerator humming and I think I'm going to lose my mind. Like right. I think I'm going to lose it. And just the fact of not being able, you're so removed from nature in a house. Like I, I, I really need to be able to wake up and know I wake up, I'm on the earth time, you know, I wake yep. up with the sun and I go to sleep mm-hmm. with the sun. I know exactly what temperature it is outside because... I touch my window. Right. <laughs> I breathe out hot air. You know, and right. I can tell by what cloud I make <laughs> if I'm gonna freeze today or not. You know, you should be a weather person. That's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Just breathe awful. on a window. Yeah. Like up oh, 42. Yeah. It's 42 exactly. 